Hi everybody, Nancy here. This one I'm almost embarrassed to show because I've already shown how to do this in a different video and I used way more steps. I don't know if it's because of the evolution of, of Zoom Notes or it's just I wasn't quick enough to figure it out sooner. This is like, oh my gosh. You know, you've got this spiral binder that you buy from somebody else and you want to add a picture that you've created or uh, you have from something and you want to add it to the spiral binder but you want it see how it fits to the um, under the spirals uh, I'm going to show you how to do this a quick and easy way now this particular page is different than the one I'm going to show you I'm going to show you one that's super easy and then I'm going to show you this one how I did this one but first I'm going to go to this spiral it's got this kind of binding, you see. Okay, this is what makes me crazy because I didn't, I, why didn't I think of this before? If you get your fill tool and you tap on your empty page that you want to cover, then select that and move it over. See, it's got, <laughs> it's got the right little spots and holes and whatnot on it. So this is a picture that I've got that I purchased from somebody. Um, I, I haven't gotten used to that, that being able to do what I just did, the, the moving the image around. Okay, if I select it, put it where I want it on the picture, then select the back of uh, the picture that I'm trying to crop. Crazy, this is so easy. Then you scroll down to transparency. No, I'm sorry, to mask image. <laughs> How cool is that? Isn't that the coolest? Now see, now do notice that it is two separate things. So you still have your mask image. And another thing I need to tell you, it does matter the opacity because whatever you crop, will take on the opacity of whatever you use as the mask. Okay, so let me let me get back over here and show you how it fits in so perfectly. Ah, select, select. And see, I twisted it, so I need to make it fit back in here. Stretch it and work it until it fits perfectly. And you know, it doesn't hurt to have it a little cattywampus. It looks more realistic, actually, if you have it just slightly off. Of course, you can fit it perfectly, but, you know, don't twist it like I did the first time. And see how it fits so good in that binder? Oh my gosh, that is so simple. All right, but let me show you back on this other one. And the reason it's a little bit different. On this, if you notice, um, well, let me do it again. Let's see, let me go to another page. I was gonna, thought I, okay. First of all, I'm gonna turn off uh, the planner so you don't see that. If I left that uh, December in there and did the fill, then the December would cut into my image so if I um, do the fill do the tap I did the tap takes a minute now um, let me do it a different color because that's hard to see Ugh. fill do it that color do it tap Okay, now see how, if I zoom in, how the white didn't get in the middles. And that will, of course, affect your final product. So, what to do instead. I still use this to, um, to uh, do the masking. Let me delete that one. Let me pull in a picture so you can see. 
but I did it differently because I needed all those little white spaces to be filled in. Done. All right. Um, you put what you're masking to the back. And then, let's see, I have to pull that to the, the mask, the top needs to be the mask. So let me move that to the top, move to the front. Okay, now I select the back and mask image. Okay, and the reason you, I, I try to encourage people to play around with stuff because I literally figured this, this out this morning because I was playing up with something else. But see how all that white is gonna be in, in the gaps, even though it fits. So what I did for this particular one, I went ahead and used this picture because, you know, if there were rounded corners or whatnot, it would matter more. Now this is just a rectangle that I could have just cropped, but I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna crop it and crop those those um, spiral holes out. Well, I say that, I'm gonna select it and then crop it. Get those, get rid of those, do done. And now I just need to stretch it to fit again like again if those had been rounded corners this would matter way more but I want this to perfectly fit there all right now the next thing I did to create this little guy right here was I did a grab grab is one of my favorite tools I absolutely love grab and then of course transparency so I just tap on it and hold it, do copy, and then do paste. Let me, let me do paste as image. Um, no, not copy, paste as image. All right. Now I'm going to pull this into transparency. And because it's got that little straight black going through it that's my friend right now all I have to do is I'm, I've got the fill turned on I'm gonna tap on that black line and see how because it's also part of the um, it's running through the coil it's selecting that coil as well oops sorry okay now this is not, we don't want, this is not the part we want to save. We want to save, um, see if we do it, well, let me just show you. If I do save, then all I've got left is this. And that's not at all what we want. So let's go back and undo and take this back into um, the transparency. Do the tapping on the black again. So it will select. Sometimes it selects further than other times. I don't I don't quite understand. It hits something that keeps it from go, doing it all the way through. Let me undo that because I... Ooh, it got too much. See, I'm selecting all the black. Now it's all selected. Now I'm going to do invert so that... Um, now, see, it's got a little bit of white still left on there, so I'm going to change it back to fill and do scroll and just tap again. See, it takes away a lot of that white, um, and I'll do it on this one. Okay, now I'm not going to bother with all these little, because that's so very minute that it's not going to matter. Okay. Now I've got just the coils and the black line that runs down the middle, which is okay. I could, you know, I could paint that out, but it's not necessary because it is the edge of the page and the edge of the page has the black. So I'm, I'm ready to save it now. 
Okay, see now I've got the coils, just the coils with the black line. So if I, I move my picture back over into its place, and that thing is, see how, why that would not have been what I wanted. So I delete that and I take the, the black coils that I just created and I lay it on top and stretch it to fit. So now it looks like it fits perfectly or it will as soon as I get it all lined up. Okay, so now I've got a page or a tab cover that I love. I think that's so pretty. But anyway, that's all. I just wanted to show you how to do that. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Y'all have a great day.